everyone. I'm Charlene Habermeyer and welcome to Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about awesome ways that fats build your brain. We're going to talk about nutrition, different kinds of things that your kids should be eating to help to build their brains. And fats are one of them. Now, if you're like me, you've heard about every single diet known to man. They first come out with you need to have low carbs, then they come out and you need to have low fats, then they come out with you need to have high this or low this or high this or low that. So it becomes very confusing. One minute they say that eggs are bad for you, the next minute they say that eggs are good for you. It's kind of like, okay, let's make up our minds here. But uh, they're finding new things about nutrition all the time and so things change. But there's one thing that they do know is that a low-fat diet is not good for the brain. Both doctors and nutritionists now realize that your brain is 90% fat and your brain craves fat. Now, unfortunately, it's not french fry or potato chip fat. Your brain wants good kinds of fat, and if you feed your brain good kinds of fat, then you will get a bigger, better brain, and it will function better for you, and that's particularly true for children. Okay, some of the fats that are important are called essential fatty acids, and they're called essential because your body doesn't make them. You have to get them from certain foods, and those foods are referred to as the omegas, three, sixes, and nines. The omega threes, uh, these are such foods as like eggs and avocados and nuts and walnuts and olive oil and cod liver oil and coconut oil, to name just a few. Let me talk a little bit about an omega-3 fat, and you can find it in walnuts. Uh, many years ago, in fact, this was in the um, Middle Ages, they had something that was called the Doctrine of Signatures in Herbal Medicine. And basically what this said is that God put his imprint on certain fruits and vegetables to help us to understand what part of the body they strengthen. So I want you to think about a walnut. I want you to think about the outside of the walnut. It's all crinkly and everything. And when you open that walnut up, there's two sides that you can see, and you see that thin little membrane down the middle of it. Well, walnuts are loaded with omega-3s, and a walnut looks like a human brain. On the outside, it's all crinkly and wrinkly, and when you open it up, there's two sides, just like we have two sides of the brain. That thin little membrane going down the middle of the walnut represents the corpus callosum, which is the bridge between the left and right sides of the brain, where synapses go back and forth. Now we know that walnuts are brain food. They're important for your brain. Now, there's another very, very important thing that omega-3, 6s, and 9s, not so much the 6s, that's where you get meat and you have to be careful with that, but definitely the 3s and the 9s. And an example of an omega-9 would be avocados. So all of those are really important. And here's another thing that helps with brain development with children. There's a process called myelination in the brain. I want you to think of neurons and I want you to think of synapses, okay? The neurons and the synapses need to work together. If you have like an ADD child or an ADHD child or a child that has difficulty focusing or concentrating or even you as an adult, then you need to make sure, certain that you're getting really good fats in your diet so that you can literally put a coat over the synapses, another coat over the, the neurons so that the neurons and the synapses work together. Again, that's called myelination in the brain and it happens when you feed your body and you feed your brain those important fats. You want to make certain that your kids are getting fats in their diets every day. Now, let me tell you about two fats that a lot of parents may not give to their children, but they are extremely important. One is coconut oil. If you start with coconut oil, it's a medium chain fatty acid and it definitely will help with myelination in the brain. But you wanna start slow, maybe a teaspoon a day and build up to it. Because if you're giving the body all that oil at once, it can give sometimes people headaches or kids has headaches. So start slow, a teaspoon a day. But my very, very favorite fat and oil is cod liver oil. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, I, cannot, I couldn't possibly uh, take any cod liver oil. I remember my grandparents talking about it. Well, the cod liver oil that they took, yes, it was gaggy and horrible. But if you go on my blog about fats, and you can go into my nutrition section, read about cod liver oil. I think I posted about 20 or 30 reasons for cod liver oil. You want to get the Carlson's brand, and you want it to make certain that it's lemon flavor. Then you can put it in anything. You can put it in your child's milk. You can put it in their orange juice. You can put it in water. Um, I put mine in a little bit of Welch's grape juice because there's no high fructose corn syrup in it, about a quarter cup, and then a tablespoon of the cod liver oil. 
If you're starting um, a child when they're very young, and you certainly can, I had some friends that gave their children two to three tablespoons of cod liver oil. They had the most amazing skin, and those kids were incredibly bright. However, I think that's a little much. Start your child out with like a teaspoon and a half. That's like a half a tablespoon. By the time they get to be eight, they can handle a tablespoon of cod liver oil each day. And you will notice that they are, they have better attention spans, they do better in school, they feel better, they behave better, just everything is better. And you as a parent, you should be taking cod liver oil each day as well. If you are at that age that you're having any problems with night vision, there's a purple pigment in cod liver oil that actually helps and improves night vision. Now, the quote that I want to leave you with today is from Dr. David uh, Perlmutter, and he is uh, famous for his book, Grain Brain, and this is what he said. Saturated fat is a fundamental building block for brain cells. It's certainly interesting to consider that one of the richest sources of saturated fat in nature is found in human breast milk. All kinds of mothers that talk to me about what they can do, the very best thing that they can do for their unborn child, I tell them, take that tablespoon of cod liver oil. And when you are nursing your child, make sure you're taking that tablespoon of cod liver oil so that it goes into the milk. Breast milk is very, very high in fat because nature just knows when that baby is growing, the brain is growing rapidly and that brain, me brain needs tons of fat, good fat, to grow and to develop into the best and the brightest child ever. Thank you for joining me. You can also access any of my resources at the, in the comments section below. You can go to my blog, Good Parenting Brighter Children. Go to my resource section. A lot of these things that I'm talking about each day are also in a full form in the blog form. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.